Hello, good afternoon, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium, once again. I've seen a lot of indications about something I need to do as a video. Uh, one is that the um, Bob Dylan song, The Times They Are Changing, has been playing in my head over and over again. You know, uh, get out of the way. If you can't get with the new thing, your sons and daughters are beyond your command. Um, people in Congress um, need to change. That's all in the song. That's a song from the 60s. It's still true. And um, I made that comment. Uh, going to psychic fairs and um, reading at them, expos, places like that, that has changed. When I got in it, um, there was a monetary aspect to doing it. You can't do, you can't get on a plane and get a hotel and a car and do all these things without charging for it. But at the time I got started, it, it really wasn't talked about. We were there to to help people. We were there to have fun. And somewhere along in there, toward the end, we, we needed to make a profit of some kind. And the reason you do them is because you can do a lot of readings in a period of time, and maybe people need that kind of help. That's the reason I was doing it. And it was just fun, just lots of fun. And recently, I go to a fair, and there's a lot of backbiting. You know, you have more customers than we do. There's a lot of complaining, and and um, I'm thinking, hmm, why has this shift happened? Why are we now? And people were angry at me and my wife in our booth because we had we had a lot of work. We were giving readings, having fun, laughing, enjoying ourselves, and then all of a sudden they, they're in our booth. They're, they're trying to talk to our clients to get them to come to their table. I've never seen that before. And, and um, some of them succeeded, some of them didn't. And I've always said that I read the people I'm supposed to read. That if someone else is giving them a reading, then I'm just not supposed to give them a reading. That maybe that one is the one that they need. Maybe that's why they came. Don't take it personally. Um, no more than any other company should. Well, they bought a Ford. They could have bought a Chevy. We got Chevys. Why didn't they buy a Chevy? Why didn't they buy a Ford? And they get angry about it. They don't tend to do that. They just try and figure a way to increase their market share. Well, I'm not trying to increase my market share, but, but the, the times they are changing. It's more of a, and and it's a, and if I stop reading in between, get a break between readings, and I look at and I look at them, of course I can read them, and it's not about staying power or doing a good reading, it's about money. And that's sort of sad. It's sort of, there's a loss. I feel a loss because the people I started reading with, they're all gone. They've quit, retired, or they passed. It's a tough thing to read on the road. There's very few people who can do it. It takes a lot of stamina. It takes all day, and then you have to do it, what is it, I think 10 to 7, like 9 hours one day and 8 hours the next day, and there's no break for lunch. You bring a sandwich and you eat it. So it's pretty tough, pretty hard to do, and very few can. And do it consistently well and over a long period of time. It's just tough. I'm not complaining. I don't run out of energy when I'm reading. I'm just having fun. I'm in the moment, just enjoying it. But someone else said recently, it's changed, the job they have. I heard it today. I'm not going to tell you who. But the job's changed. People who are in it are not the same. They're, they're lazy. They're slow. 
They don't seem to care about things, and they do stupid things that can risk the lives of people involved. They've been trained, but they didn't learn anything. Training has no effect on their stupidity. And then it, I'm thinking, it sounds like I'm complaining about something. And I don't want to be that person because whenever I'm on the road, I'm always having a great time. I'm, I'm the first one there. I want to get to the venue as quick as possible. I want to begin engaging people and talking to them. And usually we're the last to leave. If we leave early, it's a bad show and we don't need to be there. But then the Bob Dylan song plays in my head, the times are changing. It's time for you to um, get with a program or, or don't do it anymore. I'm thinking, okay, that's, that's probably fair. Bob Dylan said it because the world really was changing. In the 60s, things I mean, it was pretty radical. And, um, you know, get with it or get out of the way. You're blocking these people from doing what is currently popular. That maybe you need to step away from this and give younger kids your slot. Give them your table because I'm an old guy and I've done it a long time. And, and um, maybe I'm in the way. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm going out there every time to have as much fun as I can and wring every last moment of joy I can from it. And people who are more money oriented or cynical about what's going on, they can just they can just kiss my ass. <laughs> and we'll have fun and uh they're not having a good time. It's obviously not. They have these scowls on their faces. And they were actually in our booth talking to customers lining up to get a reading, and they were trying to get them over to their table. That, I've never seen that aggressive thing before. And the good thing is these people probably won't be in the business very long because they're not in it for the right reason. In order to be a, a, a psychic medium working on the road, you have to be in it for the right reason because it takes you away. It takes you away from home and um, quieter times, and it's noisy. I mean, there'll be a thousand people in the room. It's a lot of noise, but I truly love it, and I'm not getting out of the way. So all you people out there who don't like that I'm there and I'm doing a lot of readings and you're not, kiss my ass. And uh, I hope to see all of you out at a fair if if you're in that neighborhood and you can see my mob events thing by the way there's some some more links down here um i currently have the rings back up and i made some new sand cast ones that i've made myself and uh and and uh you just you just heat silver and pour it into a mold and then you begin to work it and then you put a, a stone on it so see these are things that are that are fun and, and not a part of my business but i've made it a part of my business but there's a phone readings thing down there if you want to read it. Uh, but times may be a changing, as Bob Dylan said, um, who's really my generation. And he's still out there on the road every night. He's playing someplace. So I find it interesting that he wrote a song about getting out of the way, but he hasn't done it either. He's still out there. He has a full schedule. He has a band that's always touring. He never home watching Matlock. He's as old as me. He's older than me. And he's out there doing it, saying his logic. So I'm going to I'm gonna not listen to the Bob Dylan song, but I'm going to follow Bob Dylan and do it as long as I can. And I'm healthy. So I'm going to be out there a long time. I may be limping. I may be in a, you know, one of those things. Uh, but I'm going to be out there. I see no reason to give up something that's this much fun, and I'm helping people. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. So, I, one thing today, I want to wish you all happiness above everything else.
And if you're if you have happiness, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have it, it's something to aspire to. Not money, not a bigger house, not a fancier car, just happiness. And those things are temporary. That's temporary happiness. I'm not full time every day. I love to get up in the morning and do what I do. Happiness. Find some place and some way to make that happen. Because nothing can replace it. Nothing can replace happiness. I'm starting to ramble again. Maybe that's a sign of my senility. I'm so old I shouldn't be out there. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.